What's up guys, it's Dirky223 here, I'm bringing you another episode in my Smash tutorial series. This one's going to be a little bit longer than my previous defensive uh, tutorials uh, episode where I went over uh, how to set up your defense towers, uh, where to put your resources, what kind of resources you should have, and all that fun stuff. If you haven't already watched it, go ahead and watch that after this video. So today we're going to talk about the offensive side of Smash. We're going to talk about monsters, what kind of monsters you should have on your team, and also how to analyze other players' um, cities so that you can destroy them and what to focus. So we'll go ahead and check out my monsters. Now I run two supports and a new class, but there's also a tank class which I will go over after I describe uh, all of my monsters and what they do. So supports, pretty much as their name is, they support the other monsters in your group. Um, that can be with buffs, heals, and so on. So we'll go over and check out my Anubis, Anubis for an example. Um, it heals it not only itself on its first ability, but also all the other monsters on your team, 30% for three turns. And in addition, its third ability sacrifices itself to give a speed buff to one monster on your team. Uh, so that's heals and speed buff for that support and then my other support gives an attack buff and a defense buff for all your monsters on your team so uh, the support monsters role are pretty much to protect and bonus or buff up your main damage dealer which is your nuke class now the nuke class does damage to all the other buildings or all the buildings on a defensive city um, with my two abilities here one just does damage to him and then the other one has a chance of stunning um, the defensive buildings so it's really useful for that and that's where most of my damage comes from now there's also a tank class which we'll go ahead and show you over here um, hold on that's the support hold on so pretty much what a tank class does is it's just there to soak up damage now, I don't have a tank, or yeah, I do, there we go. Now, the tank class, um, this one is the Yeti Maximus, or Sasquatch Ma Maximus, which is its platinum uh, name. So, what it does is it does damage, and it's just really tanky, uh, absorbs attacks, but it also acts as a support, healing uh, your other monsters, and even reviving them from the dead, uh, which is Maximus's special ability. Now... Once you have your layout, what I do is I do two supports because I like the buffs, the heals, and the attack uh, bonuses for my new class. You can also run um, two or one tank, one support, and a new class, um, or you can even try it. I haven't tried it yet. You can run two supports and a tank and just try to like outlive the defensive buildings. But this right now, uh, this is what really. Um, has helped me. You can see they're level 30 max, and then I got to get my plat to level 30. Um, so this is what has given me success: two supports and a new class. Um, I did two supports uh, because of the heals from Anubis and the attack bonuses and the defense bonus from the uh, Jinsu, um, which was really important. So now that we have our monsters, our um, our different classes that we are going to be using in battle. Um, you can. I will show you a rival battle and kind of see what you're supposed to be doing. So I'll go ahead and attack Bob seven three seven. Let's see. Yeah, I'm using my two supports and my nuke class. And once we load up, I will show you what to uh, look for and what to focus in the battle. So we'll just wait for this to load up. Um, and you don't have to follow what I do. This is just what works for me. You can try out all different types of classes, uh, see what works for you. Maybe you like to run two nukes, one support, or two nukes, one tank, three nukes for all I care. Um, it really just depends on what you decide. So if this would like to load, I will be able to show you guys um, what to build or what to focus in the video. Huh. Alright, come on, let's load. Alright, I don't think my... It's not frozen, it's just loading. So hopefully it loads soon so we can get uh, on with 
the video. Come on. You know you want it. What's up guys? Back. Sorry for that interruption. Um, my, or the game, uh, didn't load. It kind of crashed. Well, it froze, I guess. It's the best word to say it. But we are back. Bob737. We're going to go ahead and attack him. So I'm going with my two nukes, or my two supports, one nuke, and I'll show you guys what to do um, when it loads up. All right, there we go. Loaded up this time. All right. So uh, for these, for this, it's just resources, but um, I can use it as an example. So um, whenever you have the chance, uh, wherever it says bonus damage, you're always going to want to go for that. Uh, no matter what, uh, because it gives incredible damage, um, while this one does a little bit of damage, not very much. Um, but my Jinzu, you can see, gives attack to my other two monsters, which bonuses their damage. Um, I think this next district is also resources. Yeah, so once we pass the resources, I'll go over more uh, strategy on what to do in defensive buildings, but we'll just clear out these resources real quick um, <laughs> I like when people do this alright so now that we're gonna be going into a defensive city what you're gonna wanna do here is try to match um, the damage uh, or like where you're gonna attack with the bonus damage now I'm using my new class this turn with attack damage buffed from my Jinzu which gets I get it every turn uh, that's pretty much his basic attack so I'm going to go ahead and use my AoE that also has a chance to stun, try to stop their defensive buildings. I got uh, one. Um, so with my Jinsu, um, where you see bonus damage, you also, if it's bonus damage to HQ, you always want to focus that. So I'll hit the HQ with my Jinsu. See, I got a critical 4,000. Now here, uh, what you're going to want to do is attack with the bonus buff. So I could either go right here, right here, or right here. I'm going to go ahead and just go straight up like this. Um, and now it's my nukes turn. Since I have the bonus damage, I can probably just AoE and it should combo and get rid of it. Alright, so this is actually good. Uh, I wanted to take some damage so I could show you the next part. Here, what I'm going to do, instead of attacking, I'll get the bonus attack buff on my Dante, which is my nuke, before I head into the next district, which will be tougher. Here I'll go ahead and heal my group uh, for 30% health uh, over three turns. Um, so I'll do this, get my guy fully up, and then we can head into the final district with full health um, for all my people except my Jinzu, which I should get it back right now. See, I got it because of the heal buff from it. So now I'm going to uh, focus the bonus damage again. I'll go up top, get some damage off that. And then I'll go right here, since this is actually really good. There's blues, a lot of bonus damage right near the HQ. So I'm going to swipe up because uh, my or the top blue building is already damaged. I'll try to hit that and try to get the combo, which is actually really, really good because it gives a damage to the surrounding buildings around the one that gets blown up. Now, since I have the attack bonus from the Jinzu, and also the Jinzu gives the shield, and that's really good because you really want to protect the nuke class if you're going the two supports and one nuke. That is your main damage dealer, and that's where all your damage is going to come from. Um, so you're going to want to uh, you know, protect it, shield it, give it its health, give it attack. You're going to want to feed it so it can do all your damage. So I will end the battle right here with my AoE with the bonus attack damage um, with the, yeah, there we go, explosions. And that's pretty much all you have to do, guys. Um, you don't have to pick the setup. I use the I use the uh, two support, uh, one nuke. You can test out whatever you like, whatever works for you. This is what works for me, protecting my nuke, getting all the damage from him. Uh, if you want to go all tanks, all supports, all nukes, uh, do it. See if it works. And you know what? If something works for you, um, post it in the comments, um, and I'll, I'll try it and see if it works for me. Um, but yeah, that's the end of this video. Remember, check out my other videos, like the video, subscribe for more. Um, and if you haven't already, download the game. There will be a link in the description below. Uh, it's for iOS. 
um, and you can come check out the game. That's pretty much the end of this video, guys. I'll see you guys next time.